Hello friends, this video on statistics part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. So having understood the basic business behind or basic need behind mean, median and more by three simple examples where you have to find who is the most favorite teacher or who studies more and who is the middle guy. Right, and we have understood the reason why we have the necessity for mean, mode, and median. Now we'll understand mean of group data. To understand mean of group data, the first thing you have to understand is what is mean mathematically and what is group data. So let's first start what is mean mathematically. So it says that if x1, x2, x3 are observations, x1, x2, x3, xn are observations, they are n observations with frequencies f1, f2, f3, f4, fn then the mean observation that the mean, this mean of the action occurs f1 times x2 occurs f2 times and so on that is if you have data like this then sum of values of all observation is f1, x1 plus f2, x2 plus f1, x1 let me tell you how for example let's suppose this is the data marks of 10 and this is number of students correct so marks of 10 0 there is only one guy who obtained 0 number marks of 10 10 there are 5 guys who obtained 10 marks marks of 10 at suppose 13 they are again out of, out of 20 I am telling they are again 2 guys who obtained 13 and 15 they are three guys and then 17 they are two guys and 19 there is again one guy and 20 also there is one topper who obtained 20 or 20 so one guy is a failure guy he obtained one marks zero marks actually dark and then the minimum was 10 actually so five people got 10 two people got 13 three people got 15 two got 17 and one got 19 one got 20 this is one data we have there is marks often by students and this is number of students so these are xi's actually and these are fi's frequency so if you want to find the sum of all the marks obtained by all the students what it will be 0 into 1 plus 10 into 5 plus 13 into 2 plus 15 into 3 plus 17 into 2 plus 19 into 1 plus 20 into 1 correct because we are adding all the marks because 10 marks is obtained by 5 people so we'll add 10 5 times that is 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 13 by 2 people that is 13 plus 13 15 by 3 people that is 15 plus 15 plus 15 17 by 2 guys 17 plus 17 19 by 1 guys and 20 by 1 guy 0 by 1 guy this same thing I can write this way this is nothing but 10 into 5 5 times plus 13 into 2 2 times plus 15 into 3 correct plus 17 into 2 17 is 2 times plus 19 into 1 plus 20 into 1 and this is what exactly here because this is nothing but this is 0 into 1 actually 0 into 1 plus f1 is 0 sorry x1 is 0 f1 is 1 x2 is 10 f2 is 5 so this way if you see the sum of all the observation is nothing but f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus f3 x3 till f1 xn. Now the number of observation is how much? The number of students if you want to see is how much? You add all this thing because there are 5 students who got 10, 3 got 13. So you add all this thing. 5 plus 1 6 plus 2 8 plus 3 11 13 14 15. So there are 15 students. So if you see the number of observations, nothing but f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 plus dash 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 to fn. So we have sum of all the observation and we have number of observations. So in this case, mean will be given by if you know the formula, the sum of values of observation divided by number of observation. So sum of the values of observation is f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus f3 x3 till fn xn and the number of observation is 
F1 plus F2 plus F3 till Fn. Please note this formula is very crucial. By definition also I saw, told you mean is nothing but you add all the values divide by number of values. So if you see the total values is F1 X1 plus F2 X2 plus F3 X3 till Fn Xn divide by the number of students. This is total marks and this is total students. So this will give the average marks obtained by one student. Correct. So total marks is F1 X1 plus F2 X2 till Fn Xn and total number of students is Fn plus F2 plus F3 till Fn. So the same thing I can write as median. If you see the median has this x with the bar here is nothing but summation fi xi where i is from 1 to n divided by summation fi where i is from 1 to n. Correct? Please remember this formula. I'll write once again for you. Summation is nothing but summation of uh, median is nothing but summation of fi xi by summation of fi. In both cases, i is from 1 to n. Here also i is equal to 1 to n. This is the value of mean. Correct? To find the mean, the formula is summation fi xi by summation fi. Logically also we told, mean is nothing but you add all the marks, you divide by total number of students. That's what we are doing. We are adding all the marks. That is summation of fi xi, total number of students, summation of fi. Now, now we are supposed to learn mean of group data. Before we study mean of group data, we know now what is mean. Let's study what is group data. What is group data? This is the normal data. The same example or almost similar example that the value is different. Marks obtained and the number of students. Correct. So we are if you say 10 marks obtained by one guy, 20 is by one guy, 36 by three guys, 40 by four guys. So this data we have. But this is not a group. This is a normal crude form of data. We want to group the data. So to group the data, what we will do? We will create a class. For example, when I say 10 to 25 is one class. So in this class, there are two students. 25 to 40, there are three students. 45 to 55, seven students. 55 to 70, six students. 85 to 100, six students. So this was ungrouped. So normal ungrouped data, we converted this into group data. We grouped it. And why we do grouping? The first question we should come to our mind is, why do we need grouping? The reason is, if you see in real life, if you, for example, they are, uh, this is the exam, uh, this is the mass obtained scenario for the real CBSE exam. So there are students who get zero, there are students who get one, there are students who get two, three, there are so many students. So if you create so many frequency from zero to hundred, data is huge correct also it's difficult to manage so we group it so when I say 10 to 25 bucket all the students who are in this range will come in one bucket so if you see here there was 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 buckets now you have only six bucket in real case you have huge bucket and we convert into small number of buckets using group group data and that is the power of group data because the data is less now and it's easy to manage it's manageable in this case the data is huge there are so many frequencies there are so many students there are so many values it's very difficult to manage this ungrouped data so what we do we group data into various parts correct please note here this is same for example it's 10 to 15 the difference is 15 here also it is 15 here also 15 the maximum and the minimum difference is in case of group data, please note there is a catch here. The catch is it is assumed that the frequency of each class interval is centered around its midpoint. That is, see, in this case, if you see, I want to find the frequency. So it's assumed that this frequency 2 is centered around its midpoint. And the midpoint, if you see, is nothing but the lower limit, for example, in this number is 10. And the upper limit that is 25 divided by 2. So in this case it will be 10 plus 25 by 2 that is 35 by 2 that is 17.5. So this guy will be the value of xi actually in this case 17.5.
So it is assumed, please note, it is assumed that that may not be the case. So the moment you convert data from uh, group to uh, ungroup to group, so we have to assume that the frequency of each class interval is centered around its midpoint. The moment you do this, there is some error that, that is all already incorporated in this because you are grouping it with the assumption that the frequency of this is centered around the midpoint. For example, one scenario I will tell you, for example, you are grouping data between 10 to 25 and all your data is 10 only, correct? There is no 20, there is no 25. So in this case, if you see, you are assuming the value is 17.5 because xi came out to be the lower plus upper by 2, but the actual values are 10 only. So there is a minor error that is incorporated into the system the moment you group a data. But it's okay, we assume that the the frequency of this data is centered around this value. So we'll take the frequency as 17.5 in this case, not 10. Even if, if we observe all the data in this case are 10 only, there is no 11, there is no 20, there is no 25. The only value is 10. Correct. So assumption is that, please note this is assumption that the frequency of each class interval is centered around its midpoint. And that is nothing but we are adding an error to the system. But since it is helping us to, to solve complex data questions because in real life we have huge data and with the bucketing the data is little crisp and concise and easy to handle. So again let me repeat once again in most of a real life situation the data is so large that to make it meaningful to study it needs to be condensed as a group data. And that is the reason why we convert data from ungrouped to group data. Correct? Because the data is huge, it's difficult to manage. So we convert into group data. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.